In the last video, we discussed about solving linear equations using the graphical method. In this video, we'll discuss the algebraic method of solving linear equations in two variables using substitution method. Can you write this equation as an equation of y in terms of x? Absolutely correct. Writing in terms of x, we get y is equal to 9 minus 2x. In the previous video, we helped Rahul in finding the number of balloons and ice creams using the graphical method. In order to understand the substitution method, let's look at the pair of linear equations in two variables made by Rahul. We can divide the substitution method in three parts. In the first part, we choose one equation as per our convenience and express one variable in terms of the other. Like here, we take equation 1 and write variable y in terms of variable x. We can call it equation 3. In the next step, we substitute the value of y in the other equation. Like here, we have taken the value of y from equation 3 and replaced it in equation 2. By doing so, we get a linear equation in one variable. Solving this further gives us the value of variable x which is equal to 7. In the third step, we substitute the value of x in equation 3 and obtain the value of the other variable. Like here, we substitute the value of x in equation 3. Solving further gives us the value of y is equal to 12. Therefore, x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 12 is the unique solution to this equation. Substituting the values of x and y in both the equations and solving them, we can verify that x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 12 is the only unique solution to this equation. Therefore, Rahul bought 7 balloons and 12 ice creams. Here, to solve the pair of equations, we have used one equation and expressed one of its variables in terms of another variable and substituted it in the other equation. And that's the reason this method is called the substitution method. In this video, we studied how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables by substitution method. In the next video, we will look at some examples based on this method.